Well, here we're using Mac Market Analyst. We're looking at the Dow on the um, on the daily, and this is really very troubling. Uh, I, I've been saying for some time uh, as we moved into the. Um, uh, to January that I was going to be I was very concerned with the um, the potential p pending cycle that was coming up I did explain to members that really what we're looking at is a, um, a 15 year potential cycle of the dot com boom um, but that was on January 14th 2000 and that was the top so you know with you have to respect these kind of cycles I know some people may not a lot of times people get into you know a fundamental kind of approach you know what's going on and what are people doing and it's bullish and we should always be bullish but you know you couldn't console any of those type of individuals when when we were seeing the market collapse during the uh, you know the dot-com bust and also during the uh, banking uh, you know issues that we had in the past and what I think it never does a service is for people to kind of just put a blind eye to the possibility that they could really be looking at a potential major top in the market and everybody says they want to know it but when people talk about it they're they're the doom and gloomers and they're the bears and they're the ones that are um, you know uh, trying to manipulate it so the good guy doesn't make money that's a foolish kind of in my opinion a foolish way to look at it things go up they go down you want to be you know you, you take a shot that it's going up and it's starting to do you know go in your favor you take the ride when it's starting to lose momentum and you see some of the major leader, leaders really start start to to lag it's your responsibility if you don't if you like your money to pay attention to it um, and that's what I tr always have tried to do um, you know when I was a broker and you know I would see things done uh, go down as a fundamental analysis uh, analyst I, you know I did my best to try to find things but you never really uh, totally understood why they were selling everybody had their own reasons but technically you can't you, it gives you at least an understanding where the trading range should be if things start to break this could get more aggressive there's things that you could really know that you would never ever know fundamentally and I'm not, this is not just a beat up fundamental analysis but all you need to do to get your yeah, to see what what I'm what, what I'm referring to is go sometime onto one of these um, you know, onto one of these sites where people talk about the stock that they're in love with. You all you have to do is you see it and, and find a stock that's getting beat up bad, and you'll always see these people start to slam anybody that talks about a bearish potential for that issue. And everybody has their own motives. I mean, some people may not even be, you know, why would I listen to somebody that just doesn't, hasn't, you know, done the test of time? We've done that here, and we've shown that. But I'm trying to warn everybody out there that's willing to listen that this could be a very big potential uh, for a, a major top that could be forming, but much more severe than that. It could be starting the major correction that could start to happen in this leg down. I think we saw today a very clear message that we were starting to see a very difficult market, a market that was having a very, very tough time rallying. You saw Facebook start to come down. You see a lot of the ones that were leading are starting to really lag here. And that's a very important point. Plus, you look at the, um, the XLF, the financials, those were the ones that led the market to the downside during um, during the seven, uh, 2007 correction. I'm currently writing a book um, on the 29 crash, the 37 crash, the mathematics of it, and um, we we already have a lot of this at length. So when you see that, I think they'll I think it uh, you know really could be very telling, um, and uh, that should be coming out pretty shortly. I'm hoping in a couple months. Uh, so uh, look me up with that. Uh, but anyway, I think we really could start to see an acceleration, especially if we get these lows taken out. Keep in mind here that we have had a pretty good potential top that was forming right in here. You know, you have this kind of top that was forming, goes through the correction, takes a last gasp, it pulls back, breaks back into the prior top here, takes a very nice move. Um, but what happens? It keeps trying to come in for support. Now, this can, can try to run sideways and clean up. That is always a possibility. But what we've been seeing is consistent momentum to the downside. Every time it tried to rally, it couldn't really get past the prior top and the other top. So in my opinion, we could start to see a quick move to the downside. This could be very profitable in the right hands. Anyway, 
just watch your positions, protect yourself. That's what this is about. Uh, I want uh, everyone to do well here. That's the nature of what we do here. And, you know, for what people pay uh, for us to to be forewarned of a, of a major correction, it certainly could be very, um, uh, you know, very, very helpful. By the way, I did call the uh, 2007 high, uh, the 2009 high. Uh, I'm sorry, 2007 high uh, in the overall market within uh, about a month of that high and calling for a 700 point drop to the Dow. And that uh, did occur um, and got the low within three, $3. So um, I do know something about it. I do have a history of calling some of these moves. Um, they don't happen all the time, but obviously we could be seeing something that could be starting to accelerate. I think we've seen a very good run in the overall market. Be careful in this market. Why Watch for these prior ranges right here at the 17,000. I think if we take out the 17,000, I think that'll really concern everybody. And remember also that we talked about the uh, 17,350 level as major support. So far, that's been really coming into hold and be true. But any real breakthrough there, I think we easily hit the 17,000. And then any break there, I think could be really problematic.